shotguns. In video games go either one of two ways. They are realistic and slaughter everyone or don't do jack all. What? Wow. So, do video games make shotguns realistic? When balancing shotguns in a video game, they tend to think in terms of range, pump or non-pump, shot shell, ammo tube, and choke. What is a choke? A choke is at the end of a muzzle which tightens the spread of a shot or widens it. The tighter the spread, usually the more effective range it has and vice versa. And range, most games don't do accurately. I get why. Because shotguns, they're just so dang good. Why use a 9mm pistol and shoot 8 shots when you could shoot one buckshot round and do about the same thing? Here's the real video game magic though. Pump shotguns in video games tend to have a farther kill range than let's say an M4 Benelli or a Spaz 12, which is just a balancing act because there'd be no need for pumps when semi-auto shotguns are involved. However though, video games even nerf pump shotguns. They make it so you can't shoot them as fast as you should actually be able to. In reality, this is what you could do. Imagine the nightmares of real shotguns in video games. Nerf, 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 please, nerf shotguns now, nerf, 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 nerf. <laughs> yeah, so, uh... Balancing goes down to the ammo tubes. How many shells will each shotgun be capable of holding? An ammo tube is comparable to a magazine of a gun. And the more ammo in that tube, the more enemies you can kill before reloading. So video games wrestle with how much you are going to be able to carry and how fast you can reload. Yo! With proper reloading technique and a big ammo tube, forget about it. Are you starting to see my point? Shotguns in nature are so brutal that in World War I, Germany actually protested the trench gun trying to ban it from war. So if shotguns do this, then why is mine doing that? That baby, stop tickling me! Stop! Who said stop, Boston Beach? Stop tickling me! Shotguns are considered lethal from 300 yards out, but for a shotgun to be super effective, a more realistic, repeatable killing range would be under 100 yards, more like 50. Now, different types of shot will cause the range to increase and decrease. For example, slugs are ridiculous. 400 yards out and a slug will put you down. But in some video games, you get a couple options for which shell shot you can use. Bookshot or flechette are common, but What's the difference between these? Buckshot are round balls, which are most commonly used for home defense and hunting. Flechette, however, is an anti-personnel round designed to punch through armor. When you think of shotguns in video games, the first one that comes to my mind is Gears of War. That game was built off the back of shotguns. How Gears of War balanced shotties was that they made it a primary weapon of the game and didn't back down from it. The Nasher was like the Model 1887 from MW2 and super fun to play with. If I remember correctly, the Model 1887 and COD got nerfed because they were really strong. Halo spawns in their shotguns and you would have to fight for the shotty to be able to wield it. This was their way of keeping it balanced. Insurgency Sandstorm is what you're seeing right now. It's a blend of Call of Duty and Squad, so the guns in this game have a more realistic time to kill, and boy did I run around shooting everyone from any distance. If you're an OG of Siege, you remember this phrase, the Super 90. Rainbow Six Siege has shown the world what shotguns are actually like, and I remember playing at this time and I'm pretty sure I quit because every game shotguns were used exclusively, and you died really quick. <laughs> Call of Duty has hit or miss with shotguns. I actually ended up getting one tap by revolvers more than shotties, which is weird. Ready or not does shotguns, I feel decently well. Center mass, they die or get incapacitated in about one shot. The problem with making shotguns realistic is this. You have people who won't play the game because they're just so overwhelming. So devs have to really strain to make shotguns viable, but not so strong that every other gun becomes a disadvantage if you aren't using them. That's why you see these weird quirks like auto shottings having less damage than pump shotguns. In reality, they would have the same damage. Then in a meta where you only want to win, you wouldn't use pumps for the most part. So are shotguns realistic? <laughs> yeah, not at all. If shotguns were actually realistic, man, video games would be just so bad. And I think we would all hate it. So it's, it's kind of good that it's not. But if you guys enjoyed this video about shotguns being realistic or not, you should check out my suppressor video. I went over to see if those are realistic in Siege.